Hey everybody, um, doing an update on my hair. Um, it's been about five months since my last haircut, and if you remember, my haircut was really, really low, like a boy, like a brush cut. And um, it's been five months, so just uh, I do a little length check, length check on what it looks like. So it's about right here, and this side is here. I just washed it so it's still wet almost to my eyebrow. Like almost right at my eyebrow. That's cool. So, um, my side I'm still struggling with. I tried the emu oil. I hope you can see that it's thin here. And on this side, it's not. It's really, really thick. So, um, I'm still working on trying to get that side to grow in. Otherwise, my other, well, my other hair, the rest of my hair is uh, real thick. So, what I have been doing is um, researching natural ways to grow, you know, hair. Um, and more so, um, uh, fence areas like this side. Not like to actually grow my hair because my hair is going to grow regardless. But just to grow um, thin hair, make it thicker and stuff like that. So I came across this um, website that was, I think it's pioneerliving.com, and it was just talking about different ways, different, you know, natural things to use to do different things. Like it had a, um, a way to um, darken gray hair, and um, that's by uh, uh, using sage and rosemary, make like a tea out of it, and then spray it on your hair every day, and that's supposed to darken your hair. I was going to try that with my mom because she has a lot of gray hair. And also, um, I had found a link that talked about uh, how to think it, thicken your hair or prevent hair loss. And so, um, I went on there had a bunch of different, um, you know, ideas and recipes and stuff. So, one of them said to use amla oil, amla oil, A-M-L-A -A oil. And it's a Indian oil that um, comes from the amla gooseberry oil, and I looked in my uh, idiot Scott for making natural beauty products, and it was in there, and it said that um, what they do is they take the amla gooseberry and uh, boil it, I guess, in coconut oil, and um, that's how they get the, um, the oil out of it, or the nutrients. So... I went on Amazon and I um, tried to look for it and I found uh, different brands. One was the um, the Burr oil, Amla oil, and when I went on YouTube I found a lot of YouTubers who use the Burr, but that has a lot of different things in it, like it has mineral oil and um, some other oils in it, but I kind of um, wanted to stay strictly to Amla oil. So I did find a um, a brand that had just amla oil, and I, then I also found a brand that had that said Brahmi amla oil, and um, that's the one I ended up getting. I looked at the reviews, and everybody said that it was great. It helps the hair grow. It helps it thicken up. And I saw um, that some people were natural. Some of the commenters were natural, and um, they said that it helps to thicken their hair, grow it, and just it was awesome, basically. It just has a smell. That's what they said. But when I smelled it, it wasn't that bad at all. Like, I, I feel like I smelled it before. Like, it's some potpourri or some type of air freshener that my mom bought or something. But this is the oil. It's, um, Batic Herbs. That's the brand. And the name of it is Brahmi Amla Oil. And this is the eight ounce. This cost me eleven fifty five, I think, and then um, plus tax and shipping. That was um, seventeen something. So that's how much this cost. Came all the way from California. Some of the people, when I went on YouTube, some of the people said that they um, could buy uh, amla oil from their Indian store, their local Indian store. Well, there's no um, local Indian stores around here that I know of. I think I passed one one day. Um, but I can't, I have no way to get there. So I just ordered it. It cost me a lot, but that's all right.
It says, the recommended use says, massage a small amount into your hair and scalp two to three times a week. Leave on overnight or eight to 12 hours. Then wash out with a low pH balance shampoo. For maximum benefit, continue using for one to four months. Okay? And um, the first couple ingredients are sesame seed oil, bilwa, brahmi, amla, ashwagandha. <laughs> These are a lot of um, Indian words. But some of the words that I um, recognized were neem, that's a um, good oil, uh, turmeric, and sandalwood. So those are amongst the many oils that are in here. And um, I can't wait to use it. I'm really excited. This other description says, Brahmi is also known as Gatu Kola. Combined with Ayurveda, Ayurveda, I don't like saying this word. Ayurvedic amla makes for a unique bodybuilding formula for your hair. With this combination, the amla ingredients act as condition and nourish. Acts as condition and nourish the hair, while Brahmi helps to strengthen and add body to the hair. All the blend. All in the blend of natural sesame seed oil. Try Brahmi Amla hair oil for some time and see the difference. Okay. Yep, so that's it. I'm going to be trying this. I just washed my hair with some, um, the last of my uh, Alakey Naturals coconut shampoo. And um, I'm going to put this in my hair tonight. Let it sit. Wash it out in the morning. And, um... I'm going to really try this for, like I say, one to four months. You see, so you should see some results. Some people said after the first time they used it, their hair was really soft. It also darkens your hair. Some of the um, commenters said, some of the reviewers said that their hair was darkened. And that's, um, I mean, I don't. it doesn't really bother me that it will darken my hair because my hair is already dark. It's kind of like on the, on the dirty brown side. So it doesn't really matter to me. And plus my ends are still like a light um, auburn and I want to cut that out but I want it to grow a little bit before I cut it out because my hair has gotten so long and uh, I don't want to go back <laughs> anymore. I should have cut it when, I, when it was already low. I should have cut it again to get the color out but I waited too long. But I think I'm going to try some coils after I um, wash the oil out. Try some coils and um, uh, that's going to be my style, finger coils. Because my hair, I mean, is long. And coils will look really cute now with the, um, with the length that I have. See? This goes really down there. So I'm going to try some coils. And um, I probably will put this in my deep conditioner. I, have a, I made a homemade deep conditioner. And um, it uses a banana, a banana, coconut, a can of coconut milk. Um, an avocado, um, honey, um, Greek yogurt, and I'm going to put some of this in it and some other oils too. So that's it, and I'll let you know about the update about, you know, my omelet oil. And also, um, I'll let you know about the update on my oil cleansing method, on my uh, vegan, I mean, it wasn't vegan, it was, uh, it was kind of vegan, but my raw food diet, now vegetarian, now not even vegetarian. I'll let you know about that. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you later. Bye.